What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and we, today we have another Cosmic Eclipse opening. We have the rest of the packs that we bought, which is the odd number of 14 packs. As far as like what to expect, even when you consider our previous opening, it's really hard to tell. Again, the store was just basically selling these loose. Um, the booster box I bought it from was basically filled up, so I think we should expect similar ratios between our two the two boxes that we essentially bought. Uh, I think we bought uh, 33 from a box and then 33 again from another box. So we should have essentially the ratios. And so far our polls have been pretty good. At first I was on the fence about it. I wasn't sure how I felt. But then yesterday's video was absolutely amazing. Hitting so many good cards. Uh, so I feel like this one maybe won't be as strong. We just uh, kind of got all those hits right off the bat. But uh, in case you guys haven't seen those videos, so we did a, <laughs> the numbers are weird, 32 pack opening two days ago, and then yesterday we did 15, and today we have 14. <laughs> Soon we'll get on to some more normal numbers. Embor is our first reverse, it is a reverse rare. Actually, so we, I was using this card in the pre-release. This is pretty interesting. You know, there's a lot of ramp up in this set, you know, red and blue, um, the uh, there's other ones I can't think of off the top of my head. I think it was the N, N's Resolve or something like that. But, okay, Explosive Fire Dance when you evolve this. Basically look at the top 8 cards and you can basically attach the energy, basic energies to Pokemon any way you like. It is a stage 2 though. And then a Swana. Attach a energy card from your hand and Air Slash, okay. Ooh, Air Slash as well. Discard an energy... Oh no, from this Pokemon. <laughs> nope, that's the wrong... Wrong... Wrong player it's targeting. So I am really feeling this set so far and I feel like I'm always pumped at whenever a set drops but this one I feel like you know I feel like there's a lot of good things going on and I'm just excited for things to for the new meta to kind of evolve hopefully it's kind of like where it is now there's so many different decks that you can use I feel like that's just really exciting versus oh yeah of course if you're playing Rishi's Art or Mewtwo and all that it's uh, that's all that's good. We got a Seismitoad. Let's see, Bulldoze. Once before you turn, you may search your deck for a card, then shuffle your deck, then put it on. Put that card on top. Oh, okay. So put it on top. Um, that's still pretty good. Then Tremen Tremulous Fist, 80 plus, 30 more damage for each of, your, each of your bench Pokemon that has damage counters on it. Interesting. Let's see, how can you get low number damage counters on your own Pokemon? I don't know, trying to punishment sounds like a weird way to do it. And the energy cost is kind of high, 4 energy. So I do like the ability though. Don't know why it's called Bodos. Alright, Tep or a Pig Knight. Unidentified Fossil. Hakamo'o. Ducklet. Helieptile. Cosmog. Slugma. A Willemur. Such a funny art. A Heracross. Reverse. That's just an uncommon. And then look at this Mimikyu. Although I feel like I've seen this art before. Is this recycled art? Never a fan of that, but Shadow Box. Pokemon GX that have any damage counters on them. Both you and your opponents have no abilities. It took uh, Get Wrecked to spell it out for me, but let's say you're using Giratina and then you can basically splash some damage onto your opponent's bench and then get rid of their abilities. And think about it like, hey, Mewtwo Mew, you have no abilities, you have no attacks outside of your GX attack, so that is really good. Alright, and uh, I do feel like we are getting some new viewers because of these Cosmic Clips openings, so if you're kind of new to the channel, welcome, and I hope you consider hitting that subscribe button, potentially bell for notifications. We uh, try to do a video essentially every single day. Uh, it's pretty rare that we're unable to post a video any, on any given day, and we do obviously do tons of openings. Uh, we stream PTCGO at least three days a week. And do different things like market videos and stuff like that. So, yeah, if you enjoyed this video or look forward to look uh, interested in any of that, other, uh, any other of the other content, yeesh, uh, definitely hit that sub button. And as always, hitting the like button does help the channel grow. Draw energy, nice. I like that card. Cosmog, Psyduck, Trapinch, Oddish, Teddy Ursa. 
Okay, so this is like our first foil. And uh, especially after yesterday's opening, which was amazing. Maybe we shouldn't be that surprised. This card's kind of interesting, so I feel like it's not as good as Recycle Energy, but I do like the fact that you just draw. We're talking like Crazy Code, Porygon decks. Draw energy is just a way to, you know, keep going through your deck looking for more of those energies. So maybe there's something there. Alright, we still have yet to get our first hit. Uh, oh, we, we managed, we put this guy out here. Because first time we put the Squirtle hoping for the Blastoise and I was like, alright, well let's switch it up. I was like, oh my gosh, Piplup, that's perfect. Red and blue, this card is very cool. Uh, basically you evolve one of your Pokemon and then you can ramp it up. You discard two cards but then you can ramp it up twice. That off the side great catcher this card is going to be insane uh use you know discard two cards or switch your opponent's pokemon and you know yeah you're losing cards but there's so many so much card draw stuff that's you know it doesn't matter how many cards you have like cynthia just draw to six so i feel like it's very easy to recover from all these abilities that make you discard and ooh, okay our first gx in its vile plume this card is I don't think it's strong enough, but it sounds really cool. Once in your turn before your attack, you may heal 30 damage from each of your Pokemon. So it is a stage two, but you can just let them chill on the bench. The only thing is, it's like thir only 30 and like having it kind of like spread out. I feel like there's not too many times when that's advantageous versus just having a lot of heal on a single Pokemon. But uh, Massive Bloom, 180 minus. This attack does 10 damage less for each damage counter on this Pokemon. That doesn't sound that good. And then Allergic. Actually, um, obviously, you have to do it right. But 180 for 200 is pretty good. And then Allergic Explosion, 50. Your opponent's active Pokemon is Burned, Paralyzed, and Poisoned. I feel like there's a lot of cards that are kind of doing... Take all the effects. All right, so we got our first hit. Uh, there's nothing to go crazy about. Cosmoam, Clay. This is not bad, this is interesting. Krikatoon, Dewpiter, Apom, a Onyx, Tepig, a Lolan Sandshrew, a Clefairy, and then, <laughs> this thing just reminds me of Kung Fu Panda. Like imagine, uh, just change the color so it looks like one of the colors of a panda, and like, oh my gosh, that's Kung Fu Panda, for real. Hammer in a DCE for 50 damage, and then Heavy Hold 120 for 4 energy. De defending Pokemon can't attack during your opponent's next turn. Wait, what? Hold up. Heavy Hold 120, the defending Pokemon can't attack during your opponent's next turn. Oh man, so if he doesn't switch, that's basically like Paralyze. Hmm, is there a way that you can prevent your opponent from switching? Uh, maybe that's tough, but I mean, if he doesn't have it, he doesn't have it, and he can't do anything. That's a pretty cool lock. All right, Abapom, Lana's Fishing Rod, Rufflet, Piplup, Alolan Vulpix, Rockruff. It's kind of cute. Stuffle. Ooh, there we go. Man, we are checking off these character rares so quickly. I mean, I think we need the N, the um, Reshiram one, and man, do we? Do we, we almost have all of them. Uh, I think the they're like a Clefairy one or something. But I am loving these. I think I was talking to someone on Discord. And, you know, the, the prices aren't that high for these ones. But, you know, I'm interested in picking up a bunch of them. I'd be very interested in having, like, PSA 10 collections of these. I do feel like a lot of them are off-centered, though. I'm not sure if it just stands out more because of the art. Or if they're just hard to get well-centered. But I wonder how I haven't done I haven't done any grading myself, but whether or not that would be enough just to knock it down to a nine, and maybe it will be hard to get tens of these guys. So we got a second hit in that character rare. Very happy with that. And we still got about five more packs after this one. Not hitting too many hits, but again, yesterday's video was yesterday's opening was just so good. Alright, we got Darkness Energy, Curlia, uh, kind of disappointed there's no um, Gardevoir, Sandy Gas, Sfeel, Cottony, a Rowlet, Azuril, and ah, Fion. I do like this card. Not nearly as strong as I thought it was, 
but uh, good card nonetheless. Basically, you can just discard this card, and your opponent has to. It's basically like a one sided escape rope for your opponent, and it does need to be on your bench, so. But that's not really relevant. Basically, I feel you can just keep it into your hand until you want to use it. All you need is an empty bench slot. Gloom, Floet, Zangoose, a Rowlet, Phantom, Magnemite, Lillipup, a Trap Pinch, Pikachu, pretty cool art, and a Wishy Washy. I'm not sure what you're supposed to do. This card has an interesting effect though at the end of your opponent's turn if this Pokemon has any damage counters on it. Flip a coin. If Tails, shuffle this Pokemon and all the cards attached to it into your deck. So, why would you want to do that? To just keep making your opponent fight different stuff, but he's never gonna do much. He needs three energy, and I feel like if you kind of lose three energy worth back to your deck, that sets you back quite a ways. I mean, could you create some kind of stall deck that unless they one-shotted it, although 180 is not too hard to get to, that they'll just keep coming back, maybe? Vaporeon, and then you just kind of deck your opponent. I don't know, maybe there's something we can do with that. Tag Call, amazing card. Delmize, Woobat. When you think about this card, so you take like Electromagnetic Radar. It's like discard two cards. I can't remember if they go in your discard or back in your deck to get two GXs. Like, this is sure it's only for tag teams, but it's not specific to any types. So that's so good. Helioptile, Cosmog, Slugma. Ebepom, and then Alolan Sandslash. Like, if we were to compare it to the Duskstone card, which was only for very specific Pokemon, but it was just like, you know, there's no, you don't have to discard anything. This card is kind of similar, but you get two cards. Totally crazy. And it's like, hey, yeah, just grab two of uh, the Pokemon, the type of Pokemon that are super strong, that are the strongest Pokemon ever printed, and go grab two of them for free. Hmm. Jolteon, Ends Resolve. Here's that card I'm talking about, Ramp, but it's only for your bench dragon Pokemon. Mawile, Sneasel, Sveal, Alolan Meowth, Ralts, Passimian. Ooh, Galay, that is one we don't have yet. Oh my gosh, we're killing it on the character rares. Ooh, Black Chiram, what do we have here? Frozen Wings, this card special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. Not bad. And then Dazzling Blizzard, 100 plus. If you have a stadium card in play, this deck does 100 more damage. I feel like there will always be a stadium in play. So that's pretty good, especially if there's a lot of fire decks still rolling around. That will do a lot of damage. Alright. Two character rares in this opening. I will take it. I'll take it over like these, um, you know, not super sought after GXs. Kind of like that's where I kind of put Vile Plume right now. And this Gallade, this art is okay. But, yeah, I wish I was Gardevoir, <laughs> to be honest. Very nice hit right there. And that one also looked a little bit off-center. What was I talking about earlier? Um, the ends, is it ends Resolve? But I do feel like that card does have some insane potential. Imagine if you have two Pico um, Reshiroms, and one's on your bench, and basically turn one, you can... Um, Oh, I guess you would have to have two of them on your bench to really go nuts. But either way, a very strong card. The only thing is though, that means to kind of like make it really work, you need to have a lot of energy. And I never liked the sound of that. Alright. Baleba and Bryson Man. Weird card. Make your... Uh, you may discard three and then each player just goes down to three bench Pokemon. There's probably a cool use for that. I'm not sure what it is. Custom catcher, because I feel like a lot of times there's just like the Dene's gumming up the works and it's like, hey, maybe I don't know, maybe this will help you get rid of them so they're not easy targets for a great catcher or something. I don't know. Eevee, Sveal, and ooh, Volcarona. This is another really interesting card. Let's take a quick look. Flaming Shot. Once in your turn before your attack, you may discard a fire energy. If you do, put two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. Feel like that is a little bit too weak, and the rest of this stuff is not. It's could be relevant, but I doubt it. Uh, backfire, 160 damage, not bad. Put put two fire energy attached this Pokemon into your hand, so it's kind of like reverse ramp. And massive heat wave, discard an energy from each of your opponent's Pokemon. So both of those attacks, I'm not too crazy about. 
I mean, I feel like maybe you could just have a bunch of these on your bench and just keep hurling fire energy at them. But only two damage counters per, and with how high like HP things are these days, I feel like it's a little bit weak. I would, I think if this was at three damage counters, it would have been just right. Like still not overpowered, but you know more obviously just stronger. So we a little bit obviously more easier to make it work. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, on to our last pack. Ah, these openings are so much fun, and again, uh, hit that sub button, we're going to be doing this for a while, so our last pack, we have Zangoose, Gloom, Coughing, Drillbur, Swirlix, a Krikatot, Woobat, oh, yes, oh my gosh, what is that? So we got two GXs and three character rares, I can't remember all of them, I forgot about her. So we got that Wishy Washy again, and Lana. So just with that weird uh, scatter ability and for our last card in this opening guys, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Like, comment, and subscribe all down below. Embor. <laughs> I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.